Hey guys, welcome back to another book preview video. This week we've got John Howe's Ultimate Fantasy Art Academy. So we're also going to be taking a look in a second at his older book here, because I believe that this one actually includes that, so we'll take a look in a second. First of all, a quick look at the front and back cover. Okay, so if I turn to the contents on this one, this is where we're just going to spend a second um, comparing the two because I was a little bit confused by this online so bear with me I'll bring this up okay so hopefully that is in focus now without going too much into detail you guys can pause this and compare the contents the one on the right is the new book this one on the left is the older one you can see that this is primarily the same book and what I mean by that is it's got the same forward the same introduction um, I'll let you compare it yourselves but the creative process for example you have this here on this older book, it's page 10 to 26, whereas on the new one, it's 10 to 28. So without looking at it, I don't know what's included in it, but it has two extra pages. Uh, materials and techniques is the same as tools and techniques, which instead of being 28 to 42, it's 30 to 48. And you can see this for quite a few of the others. Some of them have got different names, but my point being it's the same book, but it looks to have a couple of pages added, with the exception of these chapters here, uh, if I've got it right, that is words and pictures and sketching tutorials. And we'll talk about those as I preview through the book. So if you've got that older book, you will recognize probably a lot of this book. Overall, this one looks to have about a hundred pages extra. So I did a little bit of digging online, a little bit of research, and it looks as though this book actually contains his two older books. So the one I just showed there, which was the John Howe Fantasy Art Workshop, and then I think there's an older one that I don't own called John Howe Fantasy Art Drawing. And I think that's like 10 different drawings that are step by step. So I'll put a picture of that up on screen in case you're familiar with that one. Maybe you recognize it. But as already mentioned, on top of that, each chapter does have, I don't know, maybe a couple of pages extra on average. So if you're a big fan of John Howe, or maybe you like to own the newest versions, the most up-to-date versions, then this new one would be the better option for you. To be honest, I got it for like, uh, I don't know, maybe £18 or something. So it's not a very expensive book to get anyway. And it's got about 200 and, in fact, let me check. Roughly speaking, about 220 pages. I need to be flattening these pages down a little bit better so you can see this. I'm not going to skip through every page because obviously this is just a book preview. And also I do already have a book preview for his older one. So I'll put a link on the screen but also in the description box below. One of the reasons I'm a big fan of John Howe is because I'm a huge fan of Lord of the Rings and he had quite a big impact on that. So I'm also going to put another link on the screen and in the description box to a book that I've got him called A Middle Earth Traveller. And that is his Lord of the Rings sketchbook. So I think you guys will like that. And if you do, I've also got the Alan Lee sketchbooks. So that's for The Hobbit and The Lord of the Rings. On top of that, I've got quite a collection of art books now. So make sure you check those out. Aside from that, let's look what else is included in this. I wouldn't know off the top of my head which are the newer pages in each chapter um, because I haven't read the old one for a while. I don't know it off by heart that well. But I do think it's quite cool that he has added more to it as well as including the old books. If you already own the other two, maybe you don't really have a need for this. Um, but I couldn't find much online at the time of recording this about what was included, so... When I first saw it, I didn't know whether to order it or not because I couldn't tell if it was the exact same book. Luckily, Amazon previews showed me the contents so I could compare them a little bit and work it out. If I have got any of the information wrong though, please do let me know and help others as well in the comments below. And I'd considered buying the older How to Draw step-by-step -step book a few times. You can get it really cheap now, it's quite an old book. I don't even know if both of them are actually out of print, in fact. But yeah, it's quite an old book, but I'm not a massive fan of step-by-step -step drawing books, especially if it only shows you how to draw a few set things. I feel like it doesn't really equip you with the tools you need to sort of create your own work. So I think they're pretty cool, especially if you're younger and just learning to draw. And I think some of them have value if done right, but overall I prefer more of the workshop side of it more like giving you the tools to figure things out for yourself, let's call it. 
but I guess this book is going to include both anyway, so it should be really good. I'm also quite a big fan of pencil sketching compared to like fully rendered pieces. I do like fully rendered pieces, but there's something about sketching that I enjoy myself more, so I do enjoy looking through others' sketches and sketchbooks. So if you are a fantasy art lover, this book is going to be right up your street. Um, it seems to be, I think it's all traditional, I'm not sure if there's any digital included. Um, I know people quite like traditional art books. And to me, these step-by-step -step drawings are new. Some of you guys will have seen them before. I did notice when I glanced through earlier, there are some pretty cool projects in it. Um, again, I am a Lord of the Rings geek, so we have Arwen there. And also, I believe there was a Balrog. I'm not sure if I've skipped that. There we have it. Everybody loves the Balrog, and it's a really cool design. I would imagine this is what inspired the movie one, as it's very similar. I do remember from looking at the old one a while back that it has other tales in it, like uh, Beowulf, for example. But there are some pretty cool concepts for some older Lord of the Rings drawings and stuff. So, at the time of uploading this, I probably got this book a couple of days earlier, but I believe that it's due to release at the beginning of November. I'm not sure why I got mine early, or whether the dates online are wrong. But either way, hopefully this book preview video does help some of you guys, especially if you were not sure what's included and you already own some of the older ones. Hopefully my lighting was okay. So I hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful. If you did, make sure that you hit that thumbs up button and leave me a comment below. Make sure to check out some of my other book preview videos. And of course, hit that subscribe button and turn notifications on for future content. Thanks so much for watching everyone.